This is crazy. Okay, this is gonna be a difficult game, I guess. That's what's happening. Okay, I guess glimmers aren't the way to go. I'm I'm saying maybe weak points so I can get overdrive. That's probably the best bet. So let's see what happens on a game over. I died on purpose because I was curious to see what a game over would do. New game day. We get to play the new Romancing Saga remake, not remaster, remake from the ground up. Been really excited about this one. Uh, I don't think it's going to have a lot of bells and whistles, right? I think it's going to be just a great Japanese role playing game. And that's what I'm looking for. I've never played the Super Nintendo version, so I'm going in very blind. Oh, pretty. Looks like familiar, but I'm not like super current with the saga guys. This is a great example of how art direction means so much more than like graphical integrity. Because these graphics aren't incredible, right? But it's just a beautiful shot cinematic. It's got character makes all the difference, man. And there's the fiends. Oh, nice. Goodbye, rest in peace. To hell with you fiends. The music's gonna slap. I forget this guy's the main composer for Saga. What his name is? I wonder if it's the same guy. It's funny. This feels very Super Nintendo still. Like the storytelling and stuff, which is great. I think it's great if they can pull off just a super great, like true one to one remake. Like that's awesome. Good for them. Maybe they're testing the waters for some other games, you know? Because there's some great Super Nintendo games that, I mean, we're already getting the weird ones, right? Romancing Saga 2, uh, Live Alive, you got a new Brigandine. You know, we're getting really strange games, but none of the like, <laughs> none of the heaters, you know, which is really strange. Like no Chrono Trigger. Cool character design on both these characters. Gerard looks great. Oh, oh, I'm playing as a king. Interesting. We got a map. No jump button. Oh, we do have a jump button. And we can 360. Great news. Great news. Honestly, nice animation. Reddish ore. First battle, baby. Father, we have been beset upon. Ooh, really nice UI. Okay, so this is classic, classic saga. What should I do in this situation? Well done, everyone. On level zero. Oof. Level zero. Very okay. fast paced, responsive. Oh, you just have to tap sprint once. Ugh, finally. Now, soccer games are known for having a fuck ton of party members that can be interchanged. Some of them have permadeath. No need for concern. Gerard so. must learn to fend for himself eventually. You shall remain in the back. The safest position for someone as green as you. Hey, take it easy. Why does this menu go so hard? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? I know this isn't like the main party. The homeboy's just sitting in the throne. I've got 512,000 gold. Nandayo. I love the music. This feels just great. Like a, like a great cozy game. I'm excited. Nice. Here we go. New techniques can occasionally be glimmered, that's what it's called, by using other weapon skills. New glimmers will be immediately used once in that turn and can be selected again in subsequent turns. Units are more likely to unlock new techs when fighting stronger foes. A light bulb icon next to a tech indicates the chance of it glimmering. The brighter the bulb, the higher the chance. Oh, it has different levels of brightness. I love that because usually the glimmer system is so, feels so random in all the other games. So that's exciting. Watch and learn. I am pleased you have returned safely. Ooh, he's handsome. I mean, so far it feels Let's like just super classic sides. JRPG, which is good. Gerard. 20 bucks says Victor's a bad guy. His name's Victor. His name starts with a V. 
He's bad. Villain. V for villain. You can't fool me. Victor. I'm excited for all the character designs. Anytime you see a cool design, chances are they can join your party. I'm very confused because I am pretty sure this is the main character. But we're being told a story right now by the minstrel, right? Man, I wonder if dad's going to die and I become king or something like right off the bat. That'd be sad because the menu looking like this, I can just see Gerard just taking up the center. Why would they change and have a completely different UI, you know? But that's sad. Dad! He's a nice guy, too. He's not an asshole. I mean, it is a pretty game. I'm glad that they, like, really didn't try to get crazy with the style, with the uh, fidelity, right? But they also didn't go too crazy with the stylization. Still have a long Looks long good. Path. Looks solid. I mean, I'd always prefer more stylized for games like this. Dude, Victor's going to do something shady. He's Very handsome, well, but... Gerard. The nation would mourn greatly if you were to fall in battle. He's always scowling. Your fears are unfounded, brother. I shall see you again soon. Cool. Oh, it looks like it's a big map. Oh, God. Oh, dude, this is going to be a good game. Just classic. Classic feel good RPG. That is a big bulky map, baby. Gorgeous. Ooh, they got the uh, 20 frames per second in the distant mobs. That's fine. I know it's got to be useful for resources. Like memory and stuff. But all these Father, games have, have that, the man. It drives me nuts. <laughs> I'm assuming this has like a bunch of different playthroughs, right? Like other soccer games? Oh, whoa. What is going on? Victor. I knew it. Victor! Oh, Brother! sorry. My I said son, it was going to be Victor. Are you okay, my beloved child. Please, you must open your eyes. Damn. Okay. Stay with us, Victor. So, so bad. <laughs> Don't go! Because <laughs> I said Victor's going to be a bad guy. Homeboy died. <laughs> so Prepare sorry, Vic. I love how streamline this is i love not that it bothered me in the past right but i think now i just want things to be snappy right so when i'm playing a game like this it's nice when there's like really ease of access i like metaphor metaphor is the same thing questionable oh what the fuck was that <laughs> Leave everything to me. why what is this how is my short sword just level two? I mean, I guess he started at zero, right? Zero everything, so that makes sense. Say, so why is he so weak? But I was literally just saying that. That's a part of the story. He's a little weakling, a little weak, spoiled prince boy. Not spoiled. A little weak prince boy, though. Dude, man, these chests are dropping so much money. I have, I have a million already. Is that right? It seems like <laughs> a lot. We're the king for now, Goldilocks. Oh, no. <gasps> We're the king for now. But I have a bad feeling about him. Because I know he's not the main character. So I have a feeling he's going to die. And set our young Gerard on his journey of revenge. I love those combo attacks. I'm assuming they turn to threes, right? Because there's like a little charge bar of how much fits in there, and I'm assuming it gets bigger. Double cut is the way to go, though. Yeah, potency 36, so it is very strong, but we lose the weapon. I think I'm gonna keep it, because I'm not feeling in danger. I understand now. Defensive stances. When defending or using an evasion, the unit will enter a defensive stance and maintain the effects. Okay, so this is like the other one I learned. Now, uh -huh. Nice, Looks that's really like cool. Known as ley lines, which can affect the units of field. Oh, so now we have a dark ley line. Oh, that's interesting. Dude, I love layers in like turn-based combat where it just gets more and more obnoxious. Not obnoxious, but like robust. It's just like a really fun chess game, you know? Oh, nice, nice. So are you... 
I like how it showed the LP zero. That's kind of rude. You cannot defeat Kaczynski like this. Hey, your LP zero, you can't stand up. Goodbye, son. Oh damn. Father. He died quick. No. I mean his LP has been at zero for a few hours. <laughs> so it makes sense. Oh, so sorry. Does that mean that we're gonna go generation to generation? That's really cool if that's the case. This is the only not option I have who won't let me pick. That is really cool though. Interesting, I wonder how this is gonna play out. I love that. It's very like Dragon Quest, right? Dragon Quest four, I think. I think five did that as well. Or was it six? I don't remember. <laughs> So we get to pass this on to somebody else. We get to play through generations. Oh, I love that idea. I'm the emperor Lord now. Gerard, how fair is his majesty? He's dead. All right, defeat the goblins. Sure, 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 easy. Hello, sir. So let's, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Why change the HUD? He does look a little small. He'll grow into it. He's a growing boy. Maybe that's why he wasn't leveling up so much, is they wanted him to feel really weak, so that when the inheritance thing happens, you get this huge boost, and which is exactly what happened, which is really cool. I love that a lot. I'm like, really excited. I wonder how many generations we go through. That's so sick. Yeah, I think it has a lot of potential. It's getting great reviews. Um, again, you just have to play it knowing what it is. It is, it is a classic turn-based JRPG, but a remake of a beloved one. So, I mean, I've never played the original, but. Okay, okay, we should heal, we should heal, we should heal. But I'm getting way too greedy here. Uh, let's wrap it up. I'm ready. This, this is getting a little ballsy. Got more in you? Thank you. Ooh, I'm so glad I healed. HP heals after the fight, so. Me. Oh, that was it, okay. That was a little challenging, the last one, so that makes sense. Or perhaps we should head to Soman and deal with Kazinsi first. Oh, do we have a choice? Uh oh. Let's uh, let's go to Goblin Hideaway. Saga games are notorious before we march on for being very open-ended. So I can make some pretty bad decisions. When do we get armor? I know he I know he gets armor because I've seen it in the trailer. Ooh, Let's join my party. Ride. You look cool. These are, these are fun games though, because you really just get to pick whoever you think is the coolest, right? All right, so my least favorite, I'm so sorry. Whoa, oh, hang on, we got some we got some people in our employ. Okay, Liza, Henry. Oh, we like Henry, Henry's pretty cool. Ares, the court mage, that's pretty badass. Emerald, the court mage, cool. Hector's edgy, but pretty cool. And Jermaki, I really like, honestly. We'll keep James. I really like Therese. I don't like Bear, though. Who are we replacing Bear with? I think we're going Can Henry. Else? Yeah, I like this party. This is it. This is it for me. Ooh. We've never explored town, actually. 100,000 crowns. Okay, it must not be a lot. But that is kind of cool because we're an emperor, right? Yep. And it'd be kind of silly if we didn't have a huge amount of gold. So it kind of makes sense that we have like this war fund. Ooh, Kulikan dungeon. They have a giant <laughs> goblin statue, of course. Their goblin lord. No. Oh yeah, she is super cool. Just as I thought. She looks very much like a rom uh, romancing saga character. Like very colorful. Double stab, nice. That is a big, gross centipede. Lots of branching paths. I still want to play through Emerald Saga as well. I know it was really goofy, but the battle system was so good. At least play through like one of the stories, right? I don't think I play through all the characters. I don't know, maybe. I really liked it. I know it's goofy, but I really, really enjoyed it. It reminded me of Unlimited Saga. I know people hate that game. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, another chest. Oh, I fell for that. Okay, I huh? fell for Where that. Come from? My hubris. No. I'll handle this. Oh, what are the thorns on the ground? Interesting. 
Weapons or armor? Come on. Hey! Oh, darts! Interesting. Interesting. So a longbow... Goes up nine points. Bow crafted by the beastman. Cool. Ooh. Ooh, yes! This is gonna be sick. Oh, that's so badass. Yes. They were no match for us. Dude, his armor is sick. What the hell? Let's see here. Yeah, how do we increase LP? Because LP doesn't go up. Oh, it might be permadeath. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> I'll be so sad. Nothing like a pile of bones to bring a home together, right? Yeah, it might be permadeath. So we're not worried right now, but when we're 20 hours in... And James only has one LP left. Oh no, that'd be so sad. James, no, I mean, we're far from that, but it's gonna be so sad if we permadeath someone we really like. We gotta be, I wasn't being so careful because I'm like, oh, it just replenishes, but it doesn't. So I can't let people die, even in regular fights. Don't kill her. No, 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 no. What did I just say? <laughs> now I'm like afraid for anybody to die. Nice. Ooh, AoE uh, stun. That's really cool. Oh. This is crazy. Okay, this is going to be a difficult game, I guess. That's what's happening. <laughs> I never let my prey escape. How could I not see? Okay, I guess glimmers aren't the way to go. I'm I'm saying maybe weak points so I can get overdrive. That's probably the best bet. So let's see what happens on a game over. I died on purpose because I was curious to see what a game over would do. <laughs> okay, let's go that. just weak points. And hopefully. Get some overdrive quickly. Stop attacking her! Oh. Ah! There's so much damage! Maybe I should attack. Hmm. What can I do differently here? I shall maintain the peace in Avalon! Aim does a lot. Rapid volley. Let's just try to get everybody gone ASAP. Okay, you're on heal duty for the rest of the fight. You were not allowed to stop. <sighs> Thank God. <laughs> I'm so stressed right now. This is a stressful fight. Yeah, it, it did three hits, and I think it's around 90, 369. Maybe 100. So anything under 100, we got to heal. Let's set that boundary here. Anything under 100. 100. Nice. Oh. Stun actually weak, uh, worked. Okay. Alright, let's finish it with a United just for fun. Whew. That was challenging. I found this key on one of the felled enemies. Odds are it'll open the door straight to Kazinsi's lair. Oh, perfect. Avoiding his minions will help you pres- Nice, that was smart. So you could have said, ooh, I'm not gonna fight that. Oh, I forgot that they said something about the fireplace too. How cool. Like find little clues and different paths. Like this is just exactly what I want in an RP. What is this? What is this? Sagzar, do not hide things from me. Formerly habitable land will turn to inhospitable tundra at an alarming rate. Now is this past Blighted or future? Will fall from blackened skies. And how long until the first of those ten days is upon us? Because the thing is, Saga games... As little as half a year. ...are very science fiction-y as well. At the moment, the teleporter can only handle a fraction of the populace. Interesting. So these are like little lore dumps? 
but we don't know when in the timeline that was. All memories of the, okay, this was in the past. Cool, so that's like a big secret. Big boy secret. Okay, we can attack the left arm. I am nervous. Oh, it doesn't have... Oh, that's bad, that's real bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's unfair. I got this. What am I supposed to do? That's both. That's devastating. So I have to pick one. Um, rapid volley. That's so frustrating. Probably take care of that. Hang in there. Let's I think it's a couple turns though. Now die. Uh, she hasn't got eight LP left. That sucks, dude. We're out of juice. Nice. And we did the sword too. Nice, nice, nice. Still stressful, man. Still stressful. Got more in you? I needed that. Stop attacking just her. I know she's in the front and she's supposed to be. The one that gets attacked. Okay, we can't play games. We gotta we gotta wrap this up. No. Oh, she survived. Okay, good. I think okay, this is a risk it. Biscuit for the biscuit. Stay vigilant. We have to just not worry about the the limbs, and we have to pray to God that we can get them down. Is what I'm thinking. We can final strike. Let's do it. Just as I thought. Yeah. Whew. We lost a good weapon, but I'm glad that that's a thing that exists. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. Whew. I shall regain my strength. Dang, so he's I gonna be coming after my kids. I will have you I'm assuming. For me to right? Take your life. How many people have you romance so far? Uh a couple dozen. Just under thirty. And I've kissed about thirty-two percent of them on the mouth. Everything else has been just uh, romantically on the cheek or forehead. Efficient. Yeah, I think I'm doing okay. Yeah, this reminds me of uh, Romancing Saga 2. Or not Romancing Saga 2. This is Romancing Saga 2. Saga Frontier 2, where it was very generational. This is very cool. Oh, hell yeah. <gasps> it's Victor's armor. Aw, that's so sad. Victor's armor and Dad's crown, yeah. I devote my life to the good of Avalon. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Another new game. Look at us. Lame. I know, I'm sorry. I do have to work in the morning. Guys, it's been a pleasure. I had a lot of fun tonight. Um, I was really looking forward to this game. I love you. I cherish you. I'm going to dream about you. I mean that, okay? And we'll see y'all soon. Mm -hmm.